Hey people, welcome to this twist. And today we're going to be looking at some beginner woodworkers um, squares and measuring devices that you might be interested in getting. So here we've got the Swanson Steel Carpenter Square, which is in, in an L shape so you can get that perfect square um, measurement that you need. This one here is a 16 by 24. And next to that, we got the um, Empire um, T-Bevel sliding. And it also comes with the little um, indicator here so you can get the precise uh, measurement and location with the uh, little, you just twist this little screw right here to slide this back and forth and um, get that precise measurement that you need. This one, I believe is uh, 16 inch and also here we have the um this one is this one here is a six inch one that came as a combo deal with this little um square so i decided to go ahead and get this little um, raptor square with the um, with the sliding t bevel here we have a swanson this one is called the framing wizard it claims to be five tools in one. It says that you can use it as a framing square, tri-square, a miter square, angle finder, and also a saw guide. This one I didn't have it open yet, but if you guys want me to get into more detail on this one, go ahead and leave it down in the comments and I'll go ahead and get more into it. And next to that, we have this Husky. This one is a digital sliding T bevel. And um, right up under here is where the battery goes. It also comes with the battery included. So on here is pretty much the same thing. You unscrew this to get make the slider go back and forth and find that angle that you want. You just turn it on. And as you move this, you can see the, the digital numbers moving up and down with it. And say what, wherever you want to start, you can zero it out. You just push the zero and it starts at zero and then it'll start moving from there. You can see the numbers moving from that angle. So I, I kind of like this one because I check, I, you know, I can check um, my saw blade. It works to check your table saw blade or whatever you need to check. It's, it's pretty nice. It says it has integrated reverse angle, flip display, and hold buttons. Locking now for manual measurements, transfer, easy to read, large LCD display. And you know, some other information. Uh, well, since we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of more um, things that I got. I got this file here from O'Reilly's and performance tool. And you know, you can use this file on, on either wood, plastic, or metal. And this one is eight inch and it comes with a nice plastic handle. It's, it's not soft, but it's not hard. It's nice, nice handle. Also got this pull saw from DeWalt. And um, I'm looking forward to using this one because I like the, you know, how, it, how you can bend it and get, get into them tight angles that you need a flexible um, saw to cut. Um, here they show different ways to use it. And I also got a dead blow hammer from Harbor Freight. This one is a three pound, just in case, you know, you got to pound down on, on whatever you're working on the wood. You don't leave no big old dents. As well as I got this baby hammer. Also from Harbor Freight, same same reason, you know, you need to pound down on something, you know, with not that much force. This one is comes in handy for that. And um, for my pocket hole jig, I, I, um, I needed a new drill bit for it. And pretty much it cost the same as if I got the whole kit. So I just went ahead and got this um, kit right here. Basically just to get the, um, the drill bit and the, the driver right here to drive the, the screw in with. So um, I got this at um, Home Depot. It's 
So, yeah, people. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. If you like this video, it helped you out. Go ahead, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike. You know, let's get some interaction going here. You know, I'm trying to build up this channel, and I cannot do it without your help. So, go ahead and uh, leave any suggestions you have. And in the meantime, you keep on doing what you do, and I'll see you on the next one.